So we have dwelled upon quite an array of topics in the previous models, and notably informal and formal fallacies or cognitive biases. While these issues occur in the vast world of data analysis, and we have provided numerous examples to prove this point, they are not specific to it. It is now time to focus on questions that are specific to data reporting and interpretation. We will start with very common and harmless mistakes, such as the number of decimals you write when dealing with percentages. We will then shift to the question of data visualization. There are common techniques to mislead the reader, such as emphasizing small differences or showing trends that do not exist just by playing with the axes, needlessly using perspective or going against conventions. For instance, a classic trick consists in when you go uh, against conventions to, to, to change the normal colors. Here is a map showing water temperature in the Pacific Ocean. So we would typically represent warmer uh, water in red and colder water in blue. If you change this convention, even if you say so in the legend, it is a bad way to represent data. The use of perspective is also a classic problem and can mislead readers into believing that a category of a pie chart, for instance, is more important than it actually is. Being able to spot such tricks that are often intentional, by the way, is a skill any citizen should be able to have, sh should have. However, we will not stop there. and We will talk about slightly more complicated issues like Simpson's paradox, regression to the mean, or data dredging. You'll need to focus a bit more if you want to understand this part of the course than you have in the previous models. It, it will be a bit more complicated. We will evoke these topics pretty superficially because many of you have no interest in digging too much into topics that require a bit of mathematical understanding. However, for those of you who want to further explore those questions, we'll provide links towards quality material we found online while preparing the course, and we hope that you will enjoy them.